fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine menace. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora.
Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Expelliarmus! Revelio. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Aconite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. Uh, you say that every year, Matilda. This must be the Prefect's bathroom. They're saying that Ranrock's lawyers are preparing for a rebellion. Bruce, always mucking about, stirring up trouble. Perhaps Ranrock and Hitler would have had a combative. It's a new Goblins comes near me. I'll hand him his hat. Or helm, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of the goblin rebellion. My mark is better. Hello, Amora. What are you up to now? Are there no students in the hospital wing on account of my venomous tentacular? Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well... I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I'm terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet two galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. And to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, 
and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. What was what? I thought I heard something. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the chemical.
Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. trying to help.
Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. And I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Rebellion. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. 
Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Rebellion. Deke, what am I meant to be doing again? You shall try to find a moon calf. Since they only come out at night, you may have to wait a little while, depending on what time it is. How nice to see you, my young friend. No, you don't. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. 
Another beast safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke thinks you are doing good work here.
Revelio. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. <laughs> 